Thus, Apple limit your external SSD speed. Look, this drive barely runs at 600 megabytes per second. And now it does run over 2000 megabytes per second with just one simple change. So I have bought this crucial 4 terabyte SSD recently and I'm going to put this drive to an external USB Type-C enclosure and I will plug it to my MacBook Air. My brand new disk runs at just 600 megabytes per second. Actually all my external SSDs run at this magic 600 megabytes number. Maybe it's a sign from Apple to pay $1,200 for the same capacity SSD next time. I mean look, the cheap drive claim it has several times higher speed. So let's plug the drive to my Windows machine. Boom, suddenly it runs twice as fast. And my Windows PC is not even new, it's like 5 years old. So why does the latest Max run even slower? Maybe it is the USB Type-C port, which is actually a Thunderbolt 4 port on the Mac machine. And that lightning bolt logo makes all the difference. Here is an SSD enclosure with a Thunderbolt support. Let's fit the SSD drive to the new enclosure. Don't forget to include the cooling pad. And I think we are ready for the speed test. Suddenly exactly the same SSD is running at over 2000 megabytes per second speed from just 600 megabytes with a USB Type-C enclosure. It is on par with an internal Apple SSD now. Same story with my M1 Mac Mini. Though it is just 900 megabytes per second in Windows because my old PC does not support Thunderbolt. And this drive supports all Thunderbolt and USB standards and different operating systems. But I wished I knew about this huge difference between USB and Thunderbolt on Apple machines. Since I have switched to the new drive, there are no loading times, like at all. Final Cut just runs in real time. And for $110, with an included Thunderbolt cable, I'm simply never going to buy the stupid USB drives again. Thunderbolt is times better on Macs. And after I have formatted my drive to Apple's file system, I got even more performance. This is simply no-brainer, and I repeat, I wished I knew about this earlier. So I will leave the product link in the video description if you want to get one for yourself. And here is me moving all my files to the new drive. Yes, the old drive have overheated, so I have to put a fan. And the new drive is not even warm.